Get the best of both worlds. If you have a pet or a boat, you don't want to miss this show. I'm Jeff Hughesby, and I'm the general manager and owner of Regal and Nautique of Orlando, and welcome to Regal and Nautique of Orlando TV. Today, we've got three special guests with us. Julie Bettacini, who is a top 1% in the country in real estate sales, averaging over $50 million a year. Welcome, Julie, and thank you for coming thank to the you. show. Thank you. I wouldn't want to miss one of these types of shows. Great. Well, thanks for coming. What you might not know about Julie is Julie is a professional water skier, and she's also a dog lover and a boat owner. Love to actually have my dogs in the boat. That's actually my, my favorite activity outside of selling real estate. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming. We've also got Danny Har, four-time gold medal medalist in the X Games. Welcome, Danny. Danny's a professional wakeboarder. And uh, Danny's also our newest recruit at Regal and Nautique of Orlando. Welcome, Danny. Thank you. Excited to be here. I'm a yeah, professional wakeboarder, but more importantly, a dog owner. And uh, I've got a yellow lab. He's my training partner. So he's, uh, he's Buddy the Boat Dog. That's awesome. That's awesome. Well, today we're going to talk a little bit about, uh, you know, some, some memories and some things that we've created with dogs and why a pet, specifically a dog, is important in part of the boating lifestyle. What about our other guests? We missed one. We did miss one. Louie. Come here, Louie. <laughs> there we go. There's the star. There's the star of the show, King Louie. So King Louie's, uh, he's been at our, our shop for almost 10 years. What are you, camera shy? Come on, Louie. You can be camera shy now. Come on. Louie's the number one silent salesman at the dealership. And uh, Louie comes to work with me every day. And you know, it's just really cool to see these families that come in and they, they immediately take to the dog and it just relieves a lot of the pressure that goes on in our dealership. Um, in the sales process, and Louis, Louis uh, is the number one silent salesman right there. So that's how you just diffuse the customers and, and just get their buy-in right away. Right. Is uh, they fall in love with Louis, and the next thing you know, they're they're buying a boat and going out to create their own memories with their own dogs. That's right. You know, Julie, we we truly believe that uh, boating is a family activity, and boating in general, everybody in the family, including the pets, should be included. Um, and I think that that the dogs are an important part of that lifestyle. Absolutely, and I think that, um, you know I'm a dog lover, but it, I don't think there's a, a day that I have ever been in our boat that our dogs have not been a part of it. So from the, the hardcore days of training when competitive skiing was uh, the biggest part of our life, to now when we're just doing it to have fun and stay in shape, there isn't a boat ride that we take that the dogs aren't there. and. One of my favorite, favorite memories was my Weimaraner Phoebe, who actually used to jump in after us when we finished every ski ride and would gently pull us in by the glove to be able to make sure that we got safely back oh, to the boat. That, so, yeah, that's important. Yeah, one of my favorite. And I'm sure you've got some great ones, too, because there's never a dull day on a boat when you've got a dog. Yeah, definitely. I mean, my dog does the same thing. He, When we first started bringing him out as a puppy, he was constantly jumping in, and I had to teach him the command, be a boat dog, buddy, and make him sit on the floor so he's not you know moving all around the boat but you know as as much as they want to keep you safe it's also important to keep them safe on the water too oh there's a great great picture look look at danny here with his dog that's fantastic Surfing. yeah so he he loves the paddleboard and one day i just i just had the guys in the boat throw me the rope and took off and he loved it we actually uh we didn't make it too far but he's a good swimmer and you know if uh if your dog's not a good swimmer, there's a lot of alternatives. You know, smaller dogs are easier to bring in the boat, but um, Labs and, you know, Weimreiners, they're great boat dogs and love the water and to swim. So, um, yeah, you know, there's a, a lot of methods. Uh, you can get a little life jacket like this to keep your smaller dog safe. Or if you have a bigger dog, you know, just make sure that they're, you know. How, how, does, how does that jacket work on that dog, Danny? Could you demonstrate that to us? Okay, yeah. And so who, it, who makes that? Uh, this is a dog life jacket made by, by Radar Water Skis, and uh, we make it in a couple different sizes, but you basically can buckle the dog in on the bottom side. It keeps a little flap, keeps their head up out of the water, and also a handle so you can pull them out and keep them safe. Um, yeah, we make it in a couple sizes, and this is Radar Water Skis makes this. That's very cool. Very cool. You know, it's Safety is a really big, important part 
of bringing your dog on the boat. Absolutely. Um, I know, Julie, you and I discussed a little little bit about you know some safety things that you do with your, your dogs. That's right. Mine are always um, safely contained so that they cannot get out because when you're driving as fast as we do and turn as fast, sometimes things can jostle around and you want to make sure that your dog stays in the boat. Um, also, the heat, and especially in Florida, is a big thing, too. I've even taken to a similar product with a cool coat to keep them cool, hydrated, uh, because the sun out there can be it's extremely dehydrating, and you just don't want to have your dog out for a long day without preparation. Well, we, we wouldn't want to do that to ourselves. No. So why would we do that to their, our animals? Our, the, the animals are just as important as we are. It's important that they have uh, the proper water, they have food that they're able to go to the bathroom. So, mm -hmm. you know, th there's a lot of things that go into uh, the safety part of it. I know uh, Danny had discussed some some pet readiness type things when you're yeah. When you're some with your of the boat. things I like to do is uh, make sure you know his nails aren't too long so he doesn't tear up anything on the boat. Um, also, uh, you know, I I have a really good method of getting him back up on the swim platform of the boat. So, um, if your dog's never been on the boat, make sure that. You know, if he is going to jump in and swim, you have a way to get him back on the boat, especially if he's a bigger dog. I actually just kind of push on the back of his head, and, and he uses it as leverage to get himself up. So instead of having to pick an 80-pound do 80 dog up onto the yeah. swim platform, you know, you kind of push on the back of his head, and he'll get right up. So also just introducing him to um, maybe getting onto the boat in shallower water so you're not mm -hmm. out in the middle of the lake, you know the dog's drowning you as you're trying to get him up on the boat. And um, also just, uh, you know, kind of having planned stops along the way for the dog to get off and go to the bathroom. Most dogs don't like to go on the bathroom or swim platform, although I've seen some that will. I usually just, you know, c pick a spot, make sure he goes before and after we get on the boat. Yeah, absolutely. You know, the, the orientation <clears throat> of, of the pet on the boat is very important. I mean, introducing them to new surroundings making sure that it's safe for them, that they're not scared. Having a, a, a bad experience can be traumatizing for the dog, just like it can for us as humans. Right. So it's really important that we properly orient the, the animals to their surroundings, um, you know, whether that's in the water or in the boat or, or both. Um, you know, we, we have to treat them like uh, like humans. Mm -hmm. They really are. They're a part of our family. And you just, you know, I, I just recently got a new puppy and my Weimaraner, we did some things that we wanted to make sure she got acclimated slowly and put a paddle board in the pool first and then we would take her in the boat and we actually carried her in and out of the boat so that um, she didn't have to get in and out on her own and potentially slip, have a bad experience, and then be scared of the boat from that yeah, point absolutely. forward. So I think it's really a matter of slowly. Dog, yep, there right they there. are. There's oh. my cuties, uh, Willow <laughs> and Ellie. And um, they actually love riding in the boat now. There's not a boat ride, and you can see their leashes. Um, you know, they can't get and fall overboard. There's That's a life, awesome. There's a life jacket. We've started them off, you know, trying to do all the right things from the very beginning. And um, as you'll see, even there's another fun one with us uh, paddle boarding around our lake. But I got to tell you, um, one of the things that I love about being on the water and being in the boat is it's a stress reliever for me. So when I get home from a, a rough day at work, I just have to look out at the lake, decide to go out on the boat for a short ski ride, put the dogs in the boat. And there's research that's out there that says that actually having dogs, it actually incre decreases your stress, lowers your blood totally. pressure. And it's the same thing for the lake for me. That's my medicine at the end of the day. You go home and see my dogs, jump in the boat, go for a ski ride. And within 30 minutes, it's, it's a whole different world for me. You can go from up here and then all of a sudden you're relaxed and your world is just so much better with dogs and boating. You know, you brought up a good point there, Julie, about the health of the humans by having a pet. Um, and same with the pet. Mm -hmm. the, the pet is only as healthy as the human is, so you're very active with your dogs. Um, mm -hmm. You know, having a dog will improve your heart health and your heart conditions. That, that's a proven fact. Um, it can lower your blood pressure, and you know, by petting them, it's, it's more of a relaxing type of atmosphere. What do you think as far as, Danny, you're, you know, 
if, if you were to say one of the benefits of having a dog, aside from just fun and good times and laughs and unconditional love, what would you end up saying is probably one of the, the biggest benefits for you? Yeah, I mean, just that he comes along for the adventure. You know, we don't like to leave him at the house, and uh, I always feel bad leaving him at the house. So just, you know, another, he's a part of the family, so we he, he comes and does what we do, and yeah. we go boating, and he loves it. So, yeah, and also, like you said, it's, it's also great for the dog. I mean, um, I've, you know, my dog's almost 12 years old now, and uh, it's a great way for him to get some exercise without running around. And, you know, he's mm -hmm. got some hip, a little bit of hip dysplasia. So just swimming is a good way for him to exercise great without way. making things worse. So. Absolutely. Swimming is a great exercise for dogs with the uh, hip and joint problems, for sure, just like it is for humans. Yeah, absolutely. For, for sure. Um, you know, the health thing is a very important part about what we talk about, but the health thing also turns into those memories and, and traditions. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Julie, how many years have you skied with dogs? And I mean, when you were a little kid, when I remember I me growing up as a little kid, I mean, these were really important things that our big, our family got together, but we also had a dog. Yeah. And I had a, a, a smaller poodle back then when I was very young, but the poodle was always there on the lake. and part of what we did and it's really cool to look back at those pictures oh yeah and and you know what that that gives me a soothing feeling and and it just triggers things in my mind of I want to do that again I want to create that for my son I want to keep this going in traditions mm -hmm. so can you guys share that's, a little bit about that's what, what we your did at Christmas I got an Apple TV and finally got all these old photos and we put them out there and there were pictures when I was three years old with a dog on the aqua plane, and oh, that cool. transversed into on a jet <laughs> ski to the boat. I don't think there was a time in my life that we did not have the dogs out with us at the lake playing around. And um, it was just such a fun time during Christmas to actually go through all those, share the stories of, um, you know, surrounding each and every photo. Yeah. So it, it was a good time. Julie, how, how old were you when you had your first, uh, you, that you can remember when you had your first pet? Oh. Uh, and, and included in the water, the water sports. You've been in water sports for years. I, I have pictures of myself in diapers on an aquaplane <laughs> with a dog and my dad pulling me along the shore. <laughs> so I was just barely able to walk. That's awesome. So And so you, you look at those pictures and that it makes you smile. It, it, you know, it triggers things in your brain that you want to do more of that. Let's face it, at the end of the day, it's not about selling another boat or a house. It's the memories that we make along the way with our friends and um, our family. And I think, you know, when you get to be our age, um, that that tends to be where you start really focusing your energies is yep. on the experiences, you know? You know, I, I, I say, I tell people this all the time, but the number one reason that I am in the boat business is because there's nothing that I love more than creating traditions and family memories. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, though, that's really what boating is about. And, you know, including the pets in this is, is, it just has to be done. And I think it's the same for me. You, you sell a house and you're selling a safe haven for people to raise families, memories, have dogs in their swimming pools or their backyards. And that's really, I mean, it, home ownership is kind of the same, same thing. Same thing. Is, is you're, you're sharing your, your craft with someone who is going to create special memories for many, many years to come. That's so, right. That's right. Yes. Danny, I'm sure you've got some... Uh, Great family memories and traditions that you've created with your pet. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, you know, it's. I think it's all about making the memories, and uh, I'm, I'm excited about this contest we're going to do. Um, hashtag my boat dog, and you can submit your, be your best uh, furry friend photos on your boat or, you know, making some, some pet memories with your family. If it's a video or photo, send it to us, and we're going to pick a winner. We're going to give away this dog life jacket from Radar and also a Nautique prize package, you know, some shirts, hats, uh, towels, and some stuff to take care of your dog on the boat. So That's right. That so was going to be one of my <clears throat> questions was, uh, what was the prize? Because I'm a little competitive. So, <laughs> And as you can see, I bring my dogs on the boat all the time, so I have no shortage of photos to enter into this contest. Yeah, perfect. I'm sure you'll be uh, in the running. I, I believe that. So we're, we're going we're gonna to run this contest from January 21st to February 4th. Uh, we're going to put up a link to the contest. It's on our Facebook and our Instagram. Um, all you have to do is hashtag MyBoatDog and submit your pictures. And then we have an uh, expert staff that will decide on the winner okay. um, after February 4th. So please submit your pictures. Oh, they don't have to be new. They can be older. 
we're, we're looking for a, a real quality of life in, in this. Um, what you know, about his demonstrations? Tell me about that, because when he brought up that um, video of him with his dog. Yeah, I was going to ask you to say, give me some skiing a, lessons. So. Okay, <laughs> we'll, we'll ch we, we can trade, because here's a deal. Uh, my dogs love to paddleboard, but when I saw that video of you with your dog on the wake surf, I, I want to do that. Can you? Will you teach my Weimaraner puppy yeah, to I do mean, it? Yeah, I mean, definitely. That's something that we do at Regal and Nautiques. You know, we'll take your family, and uh, we do private lessons, but we'll, take, we'll even take your dog. We'll teach him how to surf. Um, um, so I, I'll take him tubing, you know, we'll get the whole family out there and we'll, we'll create some memories. Game That's right. On. <laughs> Dan, Danny's our newest rock star recruit at Regal and Nautique of Orlando, and we're really happy to have him there. And I he's right. We'll take the whole family, including your pets. That's I think what we that's do. so cool because there are times when we have sold waterfront homes and people don't know how to drive a boat yet, but they want to have that experience. Their kids don't know what to do yet, but they're excited to start living the lakefront lifestyle. And so for me to be able to go ahead and tee you guys up and actually make that happen so that they can just get a jump start and really start enjoying not only having a little bit of boat safety lessons, but also getting the kids out there to ski and making sure the whole family has a fun, safe time. Time. This is like an incredible, you know, relationship that you guys have, you know, procured and now have the opportunity to extend to, you know, the Central Florida market. So we, we call it the, the ultimate boat buying experience, it it really, is. because there's nothing that we can't do with inside that, that boat buying experience. We're going to give it the best. That's awesome. The best opportunity. Hey, Louie, you, are you going to wake up? Louie, you <laughs> want a cookie? Were we that boring? <laughs> Louis, Louis, come here. Here you go, Louis. Here, have a cookie. There you go. It's all right. <laughs> so, going back to what you were saying, Julie, about uh, you know the, the the real estate and the and and boating and what you do with the on water um, sales, you know, in the very near near future here, Stockworth and Nautique are partnering on a very special event that we're going to be announcing very soon. That's right. I can't wait because we're going to actually take a little bit of what we've talked about with Danny giving demonstrations, the boats, and um, our events are, are pretty spectacular to begin with, but we're going to pick a pretty special listing of mine that uh, will we'll bring it home, and I think people will get to experience this firsthand so then they can come and, and do the same with their families. That's awesome. So stay tuned for more details on that Absolutely. because this is coming very soon. Spring is right around the corner here. That's right. As soon as the water warms up, we will announce where and when, and can't wait to share it with you, all of you. Awesome. Well, thank you guys very much for coming on the show. Uh, you know, this this has been really fun to talk about a lot of our memories and, and and things that we've all created with with families, and we hope that this has helped you. In you know, if you own a pet or you own a boat, or maybe you own a pet and a boat. We hope this helps you to uh, improve your lifestyle. Thank you, Jeff, for having us. This has been really fun. Thank you, Julie. Thanks for coming, Dan. Good times, Julie. I'm winning. Looking forward to watching you ski. I'm looking forward to <laughs> teaching my dog how to, how to wake surf. Lou, you're awake. Yeah. Good times.